Welcome, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Focus microscope. So this is provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So if we look at the side here, it gives different applications for this. On the other side, we have some specs. The objective lenses are 410 and 40X, has top and bottom illumination. The lights are powered by a power supply or three AA batteries has a monocular head, coarse fine focus knob, and adjustable brightness. So let's get this open. Okay, so it looks like it comes in a case. So that's very nice. So if you wanted to take this to a park or a teaching demonstration or something, it's easy to transport. Pull the manual out here. So it has a number of languages here. It looks like there's about 12 pages per language. So I'm not going to cover everything in here. You want to read through this on your own. This shows the different parts of the microscope. So this has two different eyepieces. It has 10X and 25X. So here we have usage instructions. Looks like more usage instructions. Here's a tip. It says the highest magnification is not always the best for every specimen. That's good advice. It talks about which light to use, how to make specimens, cleaning it, and then we're into another language. So I'm just going to get into this and I may need to refer back to the manual. So we have this thick foam here in the case and there's different compartments in here for the different parts. So let's start over here. Looks like it came with batteries. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, here's a power supply. So this is five volts at 0.5 amps. So I'm going to run it off the batteries. Looks like we have accessories here, the eyepieces. And then in the middle, we have the microscope. Pull it out. I think that's everything here. Set that aside. It's like an eyepiece cover there. So there's the microscope. It's made of metal, has a nice handle on it. So the batteries will go in the bottom. Let me get those installed. So let's look at the accessories. This is the 10X eyepiece. Here's the 25X eyepiece. So this is organized really nice in here. I don't know that I'm going to pull it all out, but I'll take a look at it best I can. This is some gauze, Petri dish. It's like maybe a sticker. Okay, these look like slides. They seem to be actual glass slides, so it's nice. These look like we have some specimens already on the slides. Okay, so this is a camera mount. So this can go on the eyepiece and you can suction cup a camera to it. We'll see how that works. We have a pipette, looks like some dies, slide covers, like a little plastic Petri dish, a swab, toothpicks maybe and some lens tissues, okay? So for this to work, you'll need a phone with a smooth surface on it. So this is a phone with a case. This is definitely not going to attach to that. Let's try taking the case off. I'll use a microfiber to clean the back of the phone, see if that sticks. It kind of sticks. Something on here, I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit. So to line this up, I'm actually going to look through this hole here, and I'm going to look at the camera and I'll line that up and I'll press down on it. And it's not sticking to this phone very well. I think this is an iPhone 6 or 6S. Let me try a different phone. I think this would work better with a phone with a glass back on it. Okay, so I've connected up my iPhone 13 mini. It has a glass back on it, so it works better with this suction cup mount. I don't have it perfectly centered, but here we can see the fibers of that piece of packing material. So now I'll put some slides in. So this first one is tomato flesh. This is sliding down a little bit. So let's play around with this a little bit. So I can turn the light up and down. Let's switch to the other light, the bottom light. So this is the light under the sample. So let's change the magnification. Let's go up. This would be 100X. Let's go up even more. This would be 400. It's a little bit better view. Let's put the other eyepiece on. That will take us to 1000. There we go. So I can do the coarse adjustment with the large knobs and the fine adjustment with the other knob. So let me try a different slide. This is the onion epidermis. Okay, so this looks really nice here. So I'm going to turn this down so we can see it from a further distance. So I think we're going to be at about 40X here. Let me try and focus in on it. There we go. So here you can see the whole sample and we're currently illuminating from the bottom. So let's switch to the top illumination. You can see here that illuminating from the top does not look good at all. So the bottom is definitely the preference there. Let's turn the brightness down. 
So this is the brightness all the way down and it actually still looks very good. Let's crank this back up to 1000. I'm going to give it more light here. Now the lens is very close to the slide. We want to make sure we don't hit it. And now I have a 2x optical zoom on my camera, so I'm going to use it. And now we're zoomed in very far. I'll zoom back out. Let's try a different slide. This is the oral epithelium. So here we can see this on the microscope. Next, let's try something like a paper towel. So for this, we'll probably want illumination from the top. We'll try and focus this in. So at 1000X, it's hard to get a good image of this. So let's back this out. Here we're at 400. Let's see what we get here. And this looks a lot better at 400. Let's zoom in on the phone. There we go. So here we can see the fibers of the paper towel. So there are some samples taken with this microscope. So to change the aperture, you can turn this here. That will change how much light comes in from the bottom. Then to change the objective lens, we can rotate here and it clicks in place. So to find out your magnification, you want to multiply the number on here by the number on the eyepiece. So there's quite a few combinations here. So you have six combinations here between these three and these two. Now there is some overlap, I think, because you have 25 and four, that would be 100 and 10 and 10 would be 100. So there might be five settings if I'm doing the math correct. So as far as a microscope goes, I felt this was pretty easy to use. Growing up, we had microscopes that had these mirrors on the bottom and you had to aim them right. Having an LED light from below and above gives you really great light depending on what you're looking at. So you can switch between the two. Like with the paper towel, it was best to have it on top. With the cells, it was best to have it on the bottom. So I really like that it gives you both options there. Now I'm running this off batteries, but you could also run this off the transformer. Now, if you're using this with the eyepiece and look through here, I think that works very well. I think the phone mount's going to be hit or miss. My phone seemed to be slipping off of this, so I had to readjust it every once in a while. But once I got it lined up, it did work. And I thought it was really neat that I could zoom in 2x so I could increase the magnification even more. Now, if you want to take pictures and video and such, it might be worth it to get a different camera system to go on here. But the microscope itself worked very well. So it came with those sample slides but then it also has blank slides so you can make your own. You could get some water from a river or something and put them on here and put it on a slide and take a look at it and see if you see anything moving around. And a really nice feature about this is it does come with the case. So if you're spending a day at the park, you can throw this in your trunk, go for a hike, maybe bring back some samples and check them out on the microscope. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I really love microscopes. It gives you a different view of the world. So I think this would be great for anyone interested in science, and it'd be a great gift to give someone who's interested in science. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.